So it's not like this news out of Texas is particularly surprising because, I mean, it's been a slow buildup to this moment for decades. But it's still really difficult to grapple with the reality that in 2021 America, we're going back to the medieval times when it comes to women's reproductive health. Like we're forcing women to get coat hanger abortions again. It's truly shocking. And, and the people who are advocating for this, they think that they're the ones who are pro-life. This is going to kill women. How many women are going to die because they're forced to pursue illegal, unsafe abortions? Like when you get rid of abortion, you don't actually get rid of abortions. You just convert legal and safe abortions into illegal, unsafe abortions. So it's not pro-life at all. And I really wish that liberals and leftists would stop calling anti-abortion people pro-life because they're not pro-life. This is actually a pro-death position. And, you know, this is happening because the far right has captured the Supreme Court for a generation. And rather than trying to have a legitimate conversation about stacking the Supreme Court or codifying Roe v. Wade into the Constitution, Democrats are basically saying, oh, well, shucks, this is really bad. Okay, what are you going to do about it? It's, it's absolutely bad, but what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to allow this far-right extremist Supreme Court to take us back to the medieval times? Or are you actually going to fucking fight? And right now, Democrats say that they're going to fight, but not hard enough. But thankfully, there are people pushing back in whatever ways that they possibly can. And legally, there's a number of things that is taking place. Right. So the city of Portland will be voting on a trade and travel ban to Texas in protest of this. Uh, on top of that, you have the Department of Justice saying that they will, quote unquote, protect women who seek an abortion in Texas. And also, you know, you have the White House calling on Congress to pass Roe v. Wade, codify it into law. And Nancy Pelosi says that she will do that. Unfortunately, it's not going to pass because Democrats won't get rid of the filibuster in the Senate, so it's not going to pass the Senate. And even if it passed in the Senate and Joe Biden signed Roe v. Wade into law or an abortion bill into law that overrode the state of Texas, the Supreme Court can still say that that law is unconstitutional, so it's not really a long-term solution. So this has to be challenged legally, and there's only two options here. You can either stack the Supreme Court, or you can introduce a constitutional amendment to make abortion a right under the Constitution. Neither of those, thing, those things is likely to happen. So, you know, it's, it's really frustrating to see this play out. This is barbaric, but this is just, you know, um, this is what happens when you let reactionaries capture the highest court in the land. But um, thankfully, there's a lot of folks in this country who are smart, they're savvy, and they're using the evangelicals' own religious liberty arguments against them. For example, the Satanic Temple is doing just that. As Sanford Nolan of the San Antonio Current explains, the Satanic Temple has joined the legal wrangling to block or overturn Texas' severe new abortion law. That law, which the U.S. Supreme Court refused to block this week, bans the medical procedure after six weeks, including in cases of rape and incest. The Salem, Massachusetts-based temple filed a letter with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration arguing that its Texas members should have legal access to abortion pills. The group's attorneys contend that its status as a non-theistic religious organization should ensure access to abortion as a faith-based right. In the letter, the temple argues that abortion pills, misoprostol and mifeprestazone, should be available for its use through the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which protects Native Americans' use of peyote in religious rituals. The temple says those same rights should apply to the drugs it uses for its own rituals. Quote, I am sure Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, who famously spends a good deal of his time composing press releases about religious liberty issues in other states will be proud to see that Texas's robust religious liberty laws, which he so vociferously champions, will prevent future abortion rituals from being interrupted by superfluous government restrictions meant only to shame and harass those seeking an abortion, said Lucian Greaves, the temple spokesman and co-founder in an emailed statement. So that right there is brilliant, I think. I don't necessarily know that this legal challenge is going to pay off and be successful, but the fact that they're trying is truly commendable. Like, you know, if you want to argue that it's your religious liberty to impose an abortion ban on people in Texas, well, then it goes both ways. It's also religious liberty to allow for abortion, at least according to the standards by the Satanic Temple. So I think this is brilliant. But another way that people are pushing back, grassroots activists online, I would argue, are pushing back, is by trolling the shit out of the Texas whistleblower 
hotline, which is basically a hotline to snitch on women who seek out an abortion. And as Sergeant Balls on Twitter points out, LOL Texas made a website to report women who violate the new abortion bill, and you can attach pictures, so all my free time today is spamming it with goatsy and furry porn. And it's funny because it seems like everyone on the internet came to that same conclusion at the same time, and the result was just beautiful. So as Salon reports, their snitch site, ProLifeWhistleblower.com, was shared widely by abortion rights supporters and clever teens on Twitter, Reddit, and of course TikTok, calling on the internet to rise up and render the tip line non-functional with spam. The calls to action caused a sensation. They quickly made it to Reddit's front page, drew thousands of retweets on Twitter, and arguably most effectively mobilized the teens on TikTok. Almost immediately, ProLifeWhistleblower.com was inundated with nearly countless false reports, hate mail, and because Gen Z is wonderful, Shrek memes. Lots and lots of Shrek memes. Some safe for work and others not so much. And when they're referring to not safe for work Shrek memes, uh, let me be clear. They're talking about pictures of Shrek's dick. Shrek. Green dick, green balls. That's what this hotline got. Now, uh, additionally, there was one TikToker that actually created a script so individuals can flood the line themselves with lots and lots of false reports of women violating this abortion law. Um, and I'm going to play this video for you so you know what not to do in the state of Texas. So definitely don't do what this person is explaining to you very clearly. Take a look. Okay, so here's the update. Unfortunately, the IP banned me. Found out this morning. So when I access the site, it gives me something that looks like this. But before that, I was able to get about 245. And this morning, about 48 more, so about 300. But then I started thinking, what if I made this a bit easier for everybody? So I made an iOS shortcut. You may be asking yourself, what does the iOS shortcut do? Well, it picks a random city, county, and Texas zip code. And all the other information. Puts it in a form, automatically submits it. So if you go to the website from your iOS device, this is the web page with the form. You click the share button, you click the shortcut, it automatically send the form. It will then refresh the page and give you the option to do it again. Hit that five seconds. If you're interested, I'll put a link in my bio and download the shortcut, along with some instruction on how to use the shortcut. And because it uses realistic information, it makes it harder for them to parse with the data. Yeah, so definitely don't do that. Now, there's a Vice report by Joseph Cox who kind of goes into uh, greater detail about what this script does. Uh, they tested it themselves. So if you want to learn how to do this, and I think it's important that you learn how to do this so you definitely don't do this, take a look at this article. I'll link to it down below. Now, at the end of the day, realistically speaking, you know, flooding this lifeline or, or this hotline, I should say, with memes, it's not necessarily going to accomplish much, but does it make me feel better? Absolutely, it makes me feel better knowing that these radicals, these extremists, these reactionaries are having to look at uh, pornographic pictures of Shrek. It does bring a smile to my face, but at the end of the day, there needs to be a policy solution for this. And really, again, I want to stress that there's basically two options. You can introduce a constitutional amendment to make abortion a right constitutionally so that way the supreme court can't do anything about this and you solve this once and for all or you stack the supreme court i mean one third of that court features trump appointees and they're going to be there for a fucking generation so we can either allow these reactionary assholes to take us back to the medieval times or we can fight for once i would like for democrats to go with the uh option b and fight but i don't think that's going to be the case so we have to apply as much pressure as we possibly can and make noise because this is unacceptable like this is going to kill women how many women are going to die because they seek out an unsafe illegal abortion it shouldn't happen in 2021 in a developed country this shouldn't happen it shouldn't even be something that we're considering but here we are having to fight a ban on abortion in 2021 when this issue was settled or it should have been settled. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter that only a minority of the country actually wants abortion banned. When you have control of the Supreme Court, you know, you can impose your will on the rest of society, regardless of how unpopular your policies are. So this is gross, but any way we can push back, I would encourage you to do that because this can't stand. It, it just cannot stand.